Hello everyone, uh, Dan Calloway here and today I want to uh, talk about two applications or packages in uh, Manjaro. I'm running my Gurumon uh, Linux uh, spin here and we're going to talk about PuTTY and Terminator. So I'm going to go ahead and log into the terminal and I will install PuTTY and Terminator and then show you how to use it. Alright, so let me go ahead and uh, <clears throat> log in. And let me click in there and type in my password. And uh, we'll get into uh, Guraman Linux KDE. It's based on Manjaro 18. I'll put a link down below where you can download it from SourceForge. It's a great uh, span of dis uh, distro of uh, Manjaro. Alright, uh, so it's coming up now, and it's coming up to full screen because I have uh, VM, open VM tools installed. Okay, so this is uh, Guraman Linux KDE. Um, I love this distro. Alright, so I'm going to click on the start menu. Uh, let's get into terminal first. I'm going to get into terminal and uh, issue the sudo pacman tac capital S little s and that's uh, and terminator that's the package I'm looking for and we're going to search for it this way this is a command to use to search for it alright and you can see that it is available in the community uh, repo alright so I'm going to go ahead and uh, up arrow and remove the small s which then now will install the application so it's looking at uh, dependencies <clears throat> it's um, saying that the total download 7.73 megs and we'll say yes and install terminator okay so the next uh, package I want to install is clear the screen and the next package I want to search for and do a capital S little s here is putty and it's available in the extra repo it's a SSH telnet client if you've never used it I'll be SSHing into my personal cloud with using this application. So let me remove the little s here and now we'll install PuTTY as well. And I'm going to say yes here and let it go out and install it and it installed it already. Alright, so let's uh, exit the terminal. And now let me click on the uh, start menu and come up to utilities. And come across and down and there's Terminator. So I'm going to go ahead and select Terminator and uh, Terminator comes up. This is the similar to a console or a ter uh, terminal screen. The difference is you can right click here and you can split the screen either vertically or horizontally which I really like. So I'm going to split it vertically. So now I've got two terminal screens side by side here. Alright so this is good because you can cut and paste uh, or copy and paste from one to the other. Alright, so I issued one command in one terminal, just did a long listing, human readable. And here I'm doing a DFH, which is human readable disk file system, um, looking at the storage and amount of, amount of use. Now let me take this and split this one horizontally. And so now let me do HTOP. And so we've got HTOP running in the lower right hand quadrant, while we have two other terminals up and running here as well. So this is nice because I, I can do things without having to close one terminal, open a new window, uh, go to another workspace, whatever. Okay. All right. So I'm going to do a sudo pacman uh, tag capital S little s filezilla to see if filezilla is available. Search for it, and uh, it says it's available in the community repo, but it's already installed according to this. All right. So. Since it's already installed, I won't need to re reinstall it. Um, but let's see, I can go ahead and uh, I'm going to replace the capital S with capital R here. And I'm going to go ahead and remove FileZilla. All right. And say yes. And that removes FileZilla from the system. All right. And now I'm going to go ahead and. Um, up, oh, let's see, do a sudo pacman uh, capital S little s filezilla. I'm going to go ahead and reinstall it. And you notice that it doesn't say that it is installed now, so I'm going to go ahead and um, rem do a QS, capital QS, which means I'm going to look locally, query the system to see if filezilla is available. Nothing was returned, which means it's not installed. 
All right, didn't find it. So I'm going to clear the screen. I'm going to do a uh, pseudo Pac-Man, capital S, little, or capital S FileZilla, rather. And let's go ahead and reinstall FileZilla. <clears throat> and it's reinstalling now. Okay, so now let's uh, do a capital QS again to see if it's local on the system. And it is locally uh, searched for in the system and found. Okay, so we have installed FileZilla again. All right, and so now uh, what I'm going to do is go ahead and close these windows. So uh, let me go up and close this one. Now we've got HTOP running on the right pane. And I'm going to go ahead and close the left one. And now we have each top running in the full. And I want to go ahead and close uh, close it all together. All right, so now that we've looked at that one, let's Terminator, let's look at um, under Internet should be, right here it is, uh, Putty. I um, get the wrong one. I wrote up Qubit Torrent instead. So let me go back, Internet, <clears throat> and let's look at Putty. And the Putty is an SSH Telnet client. And um, uh, I'm going to go ahead and remove the previously saved profile here. So I'm going to click that and delete it. All right, so now you cannot delete the default, by the way. All right, so I'm going to go up and uh, put in the IP address of my personal cloud, 192.168.1.157. I'm going to come down into the Save Sessions window. I'm going to type in the name of that connection, which is WD My Cloud Personal Cloud. And I'm going to go ahead and save it. All right, and so let me click on it and let me get into the fonts and let me change the fonts here for the server from fixed to something that's a little better, which is Deja Vu Sans Mono 14 size, 14 pixels. So let's hit OK and then open. And so that's going to open it with that change. I'm going to log in as root, so I'm going to put in root as the user, and then the password, put that in as well. And now I'm, uh, I'm SSH'd into my personal cloud. I'm going to change directories uh, to share public, and then list those, and then there's a shares pictures uh, folder or directory. I'm going to change directory into that, and then uh, do a long listing human readable of that as well. So you can see that I'm in my remote server personal cloud which is a six terabyte personal cloud. Um, now let's go ahead and close that. All right, so I'm back on the desktop now in uh, Guruman uh, KDE Linux. And uh, so this has been a, a review of that. So 